This gen is the internet. Is it any wonder there aren't more women in tech? My name's Dan Draper. I'm a 30-something white male. I've been programming computers since I was 13 years old. But over the years I've noticed most of the coders and engineers I work with are just like me, white and male. In fact, in my first year of university, in a class of over 300 students, only six of the students were women. But why is that? I mean, the first computer scientists were mostly women. Ada Lovelace, Grace Hopper, Frances Allen, and many others. But somewhere along the line, diversity in computing went backwards. And today, only 6% of leadership roles in technology are held by women. It might have something to do with the timing that video games appeared. I always did kind of enjoy playing video games, but was kind of like, this is for my brother. Like, I was, I was also like a little embarrassed that I enjoyed playing video games. People use negative terminology, like they use things like, oh, well, if you're into science or math, you must be a nerd. I think most people describe a coder as, you know, this stereotypical white male geek. I would have definitely gotten into it earlier, I think, if I would have been exposed to it at an earlier age. For a really long time, um, it was sort of like STEM toys are for boys. If you go into a class and say, we're going to learn to code today, no one bats an eye. No one's like, wait a minute, is this a thing that's for boys or for girls? Kids don't say that. Does the technology industry as a whole need a reset? Man, woman, you know, youth, old, wherever the idea can come from, because it can come from anywhere, um, anytime you're not kind of embracing that opportunity, you're limiting yourself in what you can create. I think technology has the power to impact people's lives in ways that we haven't even begun to scratch the surface of. I've learned a great deal about why the technology industry lacks diversity, but more importantly, what we can do to change it. We want to tell the stories of the amazing women in tech and inspire the next generation of coders. You can't be what you can't see, right? So it's important for women to see other women succeeding in the professions that they want to pursue. You've got a high paying job, you know your stuff, and you need to be on top of your game. We have to do something now so we don't let these kids fall through the gap. I think that the first step is to get them to not be intimidated by it. So making changes now to welcome um, more women and, and create a space that's more welcoming to women that will be a, a first place to start. For more information about how to get involved in the project, visit debuggingdiversity.com.